Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video today, we're doing another vlog style Bible study. I'm out of this book here, which is the daily five minute Bible study. And I'm gonna go ahead and read this book and study my word this morning. I'm on day five. I don't know what to pray. The key verse is, we do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us, word of his groans. Romans 8 and 26. Let's read our word. Let me turn down this music so I get copyrighted. The flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Do so. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are the realm of the spirit. If indeed the Spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, and even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves, for you receive but about adoption to sonship. Now, if we are children, then we are hearers, hearers of God, and co hearers with Christ. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subject, subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into freedom and glory of the children of God. But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for it patiently. Those who live according to the flesh, think of the flesh. Those who live according to the spirit, think according to the spirit. I'm adopted into sonship. I am a child of God.
We must wait patiently for the things we want. The Spirit intercedes for us when we don't know what to pray. What does the phrase wordless groans say to you? Well, wordless groans is just what our heart desires to speak to God, what our heart desires to say to God in times of need, in times of um, interceding. He knows what we ought to pray, so he intercedes for us in prayer. He intercedes for us when we have no words, when we have no um, real meaning um, to our thoughts. He knows what we desire. Our hearts can't comprehend, our thoughts can't comprehend all the time on what we want. But God knows our deepest, darkest secrets and he knows the depths of our hearts and what we desire. So we must be praised. He helps us to pray for that. Is it a good description of how you feel when you don't know how to pray? Why or why not? It is a good description of how, of, of how um, you feel when you don't know how to pray. Because even when we don't know, again, what to say or how to say it, God intervenes for us and gives us gives us those thoughts and those desires and, and really intercedes for our behalf. In childbirth, a woman moves the ability. This is to apply it. This is to apply it to your life. Notice that the Bible passage used the word groan to describe both the Holy Spirit intercession and the state of all creation as it waits for the birth of something new. What do you think this applies? Well, groan um, can be like a uh, sound, and when those sounds go before God, he intervenes for those sounds, and he um, listens to our heart. God always listens to our heart's desire when he when he proves himself to be um, who he says he is. He knows our deepest, darkest desires, and he loves us just the same. Let us pray. Loving Lord of life, I don't know how or what to pray, so I ask that you pray through me. I surrender myself to your spirit. Be born in me. Amen. All right, let's get ready for the day.